this week on Profile. Maurice Taylor, 10-year NBA veteran, former Houston Rocket, and visionary entrepreneur. So what's a typical Mo Taylor day? The most peaceful time is first waking up in the morning and having some breakfast, surfing the net a little bit before I go work out. You know, I have two kids, got a wife, three dogs, <laughs> uh, two, two shoe stores and a mechanic shop, so I'm all over the place throughout the day. What's up, fellas? When I'm playing ball, I actually have more time than I have with staying at home, because I go to practice, I take naps. It's, I'm just focusing on basketball. When you're not playing, you can't use that as an excuse. It's like, you gotta get up with the kids, you gotta go to the store, you gotta uh, check on all the business ventures, you gotta, so it's, when I'm playing, you know, my days are a little more peaceful. You know, since I haven't been playing, like every day, it's like, you know, like I said, I get up, I work out, um, I go check on the stores, you know, with the kids when they get out of school, you know, wife has me running errands, so it's a little more hectic. I'm like, yeah, I'm a house dad. <laughs> You're headed to Italy this Monday. I so am. tell me about uh, tell me about how this came up. Um, well, my agent had been looking at opportunities for me. We had, you know, we've been in contact with some NBA teams, um, a few overseas teams, but um, Milan, AJ Milano, which is owned by you know Giorgio Armani, um, they basically made a play for me and signed me for the rest of the season and the next two years. So I felt like it was a great opportunity to go and play, you know, on a high level in Europe. Um, it's a difference when NBA teams were saying one year and, you know, you had to go to different situations. You don't know where the playing time would be and, you know, actually a team on a level on the line comes and signs you for two years. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, that's a big step. And I think it's something that I look forward to it is different. Uh, I'm the type of guy that can adapt to a lot of situations. I'm not one of those guys that's never been out of the country or, you know, that's you know, nervous about things like that. You know, I welcome it, you know, to be living in a, in a foreign city and in, in a foreign country and just, it's like a new experience, but it's still basketball. So I know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just look at it as a job. You know, I just feel like it's a job that's abroad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, obviously, you know, I talked to my wife long and hard about it and she knows that you know, I still have a passion to play. And obviously going over there and, and being able to play the game and really just get back into what I'm, I'm the normality of basketball you know she accepts that obviously it's a big change because this season um, I'm gonna go over there for like I said I leave Monday I probably won't be back if we do well in the playoffs we probably won't be back until June so it's, it's gonna be about a four or five month process this season without my family um, next season, you know, being there a whole year, obviously I'm going to bring my family with me for the next couple of years. Uh, I think it would be a huge, I think it would be a huge learning experience for my kids to be able to grow up in Milan, to go to a good school over there and get that type of culture. I mean, when I grew up in the inner city of Detroit, you know, I didn't leave, <laughs> I didn't leave the city until, <laughs> you know, a high school all-star game. So I want my kids to be more I want their horizons to be broader than that. I want them to see the world. I want them to be able to experience stuff like that. So in that way, it was an easy decision. But the first thing I need to do is get to the gym and work out. No uh, it's almost been an hour. Who wanted to ride his go-kart today? That's Max. <laughs> Max doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> B12? Just B12. Oh, you thought this was that five hour energy? No. It's natural, it's B12. Huh? Nah. I only use the five hour energy. When I came out, when I left the Clippers, um, you know, I was in a position, you know, fortunately to be a pretty um, highly sought after free agent. So. When I started negotiating with Houston, um, ideally, I didn't really know much about the city until I came down here on, you know, as a free agent and went on the tour and everything. Um, but once I got here, you know, the reason I liked it to begin with was that they had a young team. It was when it was myself, Steve Francis, uh, Catino Mobley, 
you know, we had a really good young team, so that was exciting. Rudy Tomjanovich was a great coach. But once I got down here, I knew my mom, she wanted to move wherever I was going long term. So she was able to, you know, come down here. My brother was able to come down here. So, I mean, it's just a great family city. It's a city to where, I mean, it has great museums, it has great places to eat, uh, great places to hang out. Weather's good, no state tax. So, you, really, you, you know, I love it. You really can't beat it. What up, Doc? What's happening? How you feeling? Cool, good. Let's get to work, huh? No doubt. Cool. Going in. One of the things we want to focus on is always warming up the body. Most 6'9", 260. A lot of body to warm up, so. What we're going to do, basically, is I set up I set up a circuit type system like it's um, very similar to like playing basketball. We do anything from a push to a pull to a lower extremity. So we're kind of simulating the game. And what we're going to do is create a circuit today. The treadmill is going to be the court. The weights are going to be the players. Basically, that's how we do it. Good. Five, six, seven. Come on. This is that defense now. This is the defense. Two. Good. That's it, Mo. Three. Nine. Seven. Here we go. One. Come on. Two, come on, three, chest pass. Seven, good, eight, good, nine. Oh, and I was talking Saturdays. It's my light day. It's his light day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come in here, get a run in, get a lift. Yeah. Don't get on the court today, just a little maintenance. Wow. Good, nine, ten, one, and nine, ten, one, finish. Eight, good Mo. Nine, one more. Switch it, kid. Fantastic. So the last two years, Maurice has been working every day consistently, everywhere from the weight room to the track to a hill to a basketball court, whatever what we had to do to get his body back into where it was in the NBA shape as well as into the shape that he wanted it to perform on the court. The one thing about Maurice is I love is he loves challenge. You know, and like every athlete, challenge me. And the last two years, that's what it's been. Every year, it's been a new challenge, you know, coming into the phase of it. What makes him tick, I think, two things is mental toughness. What makes Mo, too, I think, is, is just who he is himself as well. At points in time, he's, you may think he's the nicest guy, but you get him on the court, man, it's a whole different thing. Get him in the battlefield, it's... I played against him, believe me, I felt a couple elbows. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, you know, it, it, it's actually rewarding to see that, you know, to see a player play that aggressive and do what he wants to do. All right, be good. All right, call me later. Don't forget to call Massimo. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. Tell him, get off my back, I'm coming. That's my agent. <laughs> Trying to get me on the plane to go to Milan tomorrow. <laughs> You know, my mom was a single mom with me and my brother. So we was taught from an early age that, you know, all we had was each other. And, you know, we, my mom really, you know, being a single mom with two boys, you have to be strong. So, I mean, we were taught from an early age that family is the most important thing. You know, and it just, you know, obviously you keep those values with you as you grow, especially when you start your own family. So it's... I mean, it, it is second nature because that's the way I was taught. 